In this video, I will talk about Logic Pro Arpeggiator and its hidden features. The Arpeggiator is a MIDI plugin that generates arpeggios based on incoming MIDI notes. An arpeggio is a succession of notes in a chord. Rather than all notes being played at one time, they are played one after the other in a pattern. Let me show you what that means. I'm going to activate the plugin and play C chord. We can hear that the notes of the C chord are played in a sequence. Now, if you don't want to hold down those keys, you can activate latch mode and trigger those notes once. Latch function has different modes. We can find them in the pop-up menu. Next, we can see the little last entered note and clear the pattern button. Next, we have rate knob, which I assigned to my MIDI controller. And direction buttons, where we can set the arpeggio direction. So here we have up, down, up and down, outside in, random, and as played, where all notes play in the order they were triggered. Next we have two switches, where we can apply different variation and increase octave range. Let's play with it. Or you can use inversions instead. Down below we have pattern parameters where we can see our note changes. Options where we can adjust note length, velocity and add swing. Controller section where we can assign MIDI controller and the keyboard. Here we can activate keyboard split. It will divide our MIDI keyboard range into three zones. You can adjust them by dragging those brackets. Now let's open the remote key editor window where we can assign a range of MIDI keys to different functions. This allows me to jam and use keyboard to control the plugin without touching the mouse. And here's my favorite feature of this plugin, it's the capture mode. For some reason it doesn't have a separate button, but if you want to, you can reassign it to any key. There is another way, you can click the disclosure triangle at the lower left to display the extended parameters. Here you can select to capture an arpeggio step by step without being disturbed by the immediate response of the running arpeggiator. Let's play with it so you understand how it works. First, we go to Pattern and start entering notes. And just like this, you can treat this ARP as a sequencer. You can delete notes or clear your patterns. Now let's take it a step further. I'm going to use my MIDI keyboard to enter rest, dice and chords, but you can use your mouse. And for the second note, I want it to sound longer, so I'm going to use tie. The third note and rest for the empty step. The next note will be tight as well, so it will sound for two steps. And the last one. Let's hear it. With these simple tools, you can create patterns that you like. And again, you can use your mouse to enter rest, ties and chords. Now, if you're happy with this pattern, let's push the arrow to commit to it and use the grid. In the grid mode, you can adjust velocity of each step, length and intercords. Next, let's talk about how you can convert this pattern into MIDI. You can use capture live performance buttons. Click, then drag the top button to copy source notes to any instrument track. Or you can drag the lower button to copy the playing arpeggio. And here we can see the notes and our chord. Even if you make changes in variation, you can still drag and drop the new pattern and see what is happening under the hood. Now let's go back to live pattern and talk about modes. In add mode, you can add notes to your pattern. And if you don't like it, you can delete it or use Add Temporally to experiment and find the right note. 
Through mode lets you play notes on top of your arpeggio. And lastly my favorite, transpose mode. Now you can push any key to transpose your pattern. And if you want to, you can quantize those notes to a certain scale. And key. Now you know how to use the arpeggiator. Have fun!